Hi, I am Beth McShinsky, Enrollment Specialist at River Valley Community College, here today with Martha Mott and Kai Furland to introduce the Work Ready New Hampshire program at River Valley Community College. River Valley Community College has three campuses throughout the state in Keene, Lebanon, and also a main campus in Claremont, New Hampshire. Martha, would you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the Work Ready New Hampshire program? Sure. My name is Martha Ma. I'm the director of Work Ready New Hampshire at River Valley Community College. As Beth said, we have three campuses, Lebanon, Claremont, and Keene. Uh, Work Ready New Hampshire was started when Governor Lynch went around the state and held business roundtables for business owners. And he asked the employers, what is it that you want most from employees? And consistently he heard, we want people who have really good soft skills. Soft skills meaning show up on time, have a good attitude, do the work. So communication, problem solving, decision making, conflict resolution, team building, ethics, customer service, harassment, diversity, safety, all of these great skills that are necessary to make a workforce strong and productive. Uh, they also wanted folks who have really good reading, math, and critical thinking skills. So after hearing this over and over again, and we still hear it now in the workplace, uh, Governor Lynch came to the community college system and asked if we could design a course around this, and we said yes. So in 2011, October 2011, four out of seven of the community colleges in New Hampshire started Work, work Ready New Hampshire and piloted the program. It's so successful that all seven of the community colleges have it now in in New Hampshire, and there are over 3,000 graduates in the state. Graduates have been 18 years old to 80 years old, those with no high school diploma to those with PhDs, masters, and everyone in between. These skills are for anyone who want to develop professionally. Excellent, thank you, Martha. You're welcome. Kai, as the instructor of the Work Ready New Hampshire program, could you describe for us a typical day in the classroom? Sure. Hi, I'm Kai Furlan, the instructor. A typical day is anything but typical. Uh, because of our teams are so diverse and they're so unique, but um, uniquely we have soft skills as a um, curriculum. We also have a work group project where the class is preparing for a product or a service and designing a business. We also have the key train component that Martha was talking about where they're individually tutoring themselves on math, reading, and locating information. Excellent. And I should mention as well, this program is tuition free. It is tuition free, yes. yes. Thank you for adding that in. Yes. Um, Martha, why do you believe that soft skills are so important in the workplace? Well, soft skills, we don't really like the term soft skills because soft skills are anything but soft. They will make or break a relationship of any kind, whether it's in the workplace or at home. Um, so soft skills are necessary because people have to know how to communicate in the job to avoid conflicts or if there are conflicts, which do happen, uh, there are ways to get through that. There are ways to problem solve. Uh, this makes a, a workplace more productive when people know how to do those, use those skills effectively. Excellent. Kai, WorkReady also covers time management, um, which in our world today is a very valuable asset. I think a lot of us seem to struggle with, myself included. How is time management addressed? In the time course? management is critical for success in the workplace. And we, we address it a variety of ways, depending on the needs of the students certainly have a policy around it, but we talk more about why that policy is important. The frame of reference of the employer is considered. Why is that policy there? And often, um, time management becomes more of a um, um, getting clear about values and about prioritizing and learning how to stick to your priorities. Excellent. Martha. You mentioned that participants of Work Ready New Hampshire learn about soft skills. Um, do you help people get jobs as well? Uh, we do not help people to get jobs. We give people the skills to get a job and to keep a job. We partner with, uh, we're, we're, our funding comes through the Department of Resources and Economic Development. So our partners are New Hampshire Employment Security, uh, Voc Rehab, and WIOA. And through New Hampshire Employment Security, people can help with job skills or job search skills. So you'll get that there. They help with resume and they can help with interviews. Although we do also help with resumes to some extent and we do a lot of interview practice as well. So we don't actually give them jobs or, or offer jobs to them, but we do help them to um, utilize their skills to get the jobs and recognize their own strengths and values as to what they can share on the job as well. 
Great. I know for many people, interviews can be a, a little yeah. ner unnerving. Um, often, you don't know what the interviewer is going to ask. You're not sure how to answer certain questions. Uh, Kai, can you tell us what an interviewer is asking when they ask the question? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, that's a loaded question, and a lot of people want to know the secret to that. And really, I think the secret comes to talking about those aspects of yourself that are directly related to the job roles and responsibilities, to the company itself and what the company needs. Leaving sort of out the personal information and including all the important professional information. It's always good to have examples of um, the qualities that you describe in yourself and, and really gear it towards what the company is looking for. Great. Obviously, reading the job description beforehand is going to be pretty valuable in that Very too, right? helpful, <laughs> yes. That's as cute. well as doing research on the company <laughs> and talking to people who might work there. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Martha, there is plenty of career advice out there uh, with our access to the World Wide Web these days, mm -hmm. lots of different opinions that can help us find the right fit in a job. Does Work Ready New Hampshire address this topic? We do. Uh, definitely knowing yourself, knowing who you are, knowing your strengths, your values, your skills that you have to offer an employer. That's really what an employer is looking for. What can you do for me? And if you think about that um, specifically when you're going into an interview or writing your resume, what can I do for that employer? To know what you can do for that employer, you've got to know who you are and what you have to offer them too. And once you find a nice fit between yourself and the employer, you feel job satisfaction. You give your best to the employer and it's great for the employer and it's great for you because you want to stay there. So we offer the digging into yourself and learning more about what you're really good at and how you can offer that to an employer. Great. We can all use a little bit more of that. Idea. Yes, <laughs> always. It's a lifelong process. It doesn't stop at um, graduating from high school or graduating from college. Hopefully you keep that lifelong learning going and always learn more about yourself and you'll find that match where you fit into it. Um, if I were to be an accountant, that would never work for me because I would be alone in a desk crunching numbers. It would drive me crazy. I've got to be out talking to people. That's where my strengths lie. So if I were to have a desk job, I would not be at it for very long and I probably wouldn't do a very good job. Thank you. Kai, you mentioned earlier uh, when you were speaking about the curriculum, a team project. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yes, and I think the team project really sort of speaks to uh, what Martha was just mentioning. Um, uh, it really helps to bring out the best in people, and um, the project is up to their own choosing. And they have to, within the three weeks, come up with a product or a service and present it as a viable business. It's a simulation. Um, the the uh, challenge is to communicate with each other and come to big decisions, and they have a lot of fun doing it. So how we decided to do this project piece, when we first started Work Ready New Hampshire, um, we didn't have the project piece totally in place. Um, however, as directors in the state, we decided that uh, what the funders liked about the program is that it was a workplace sim a work simulation of the workplace. So when someone comes in, you show up on time, here's your job. Monday through Friday, 9 to 3 for three weeks. Kai, the instructor, is your boss. Now we need some way to bring this curriculum alive, which Kai always has done in the classroom. However, we want to make it a workplace simulation, and the funders really like that. So they, t they have to come up with a business plan or a product, like Kai said. But also, within that, they're talking about communication, problem-solving, decision-making, all of those pieces. So the, the job does not, the uh, product or the service does not have to be real. It's pretend. However, it's real enough so that they can use the, the, um, um, the subject matter from the classroom and put it into action. Yeah. The conversations are real. Yeah. The conflicts can be real. Yeah. And the problems that they're solving, yeah. they get so much satisfaction out, out of that practice. Yeah, on the last day when they present those projects, it's an exciting day because they put all this work into it for only 14 days. For an hour a day, they, they do this together. But they come up with some amazing proje projects that were like, wow, that's really cool. And they're excited to show us. And they have a whole presentation around different things. It's, a, it's one of the best parts of the program, I think, when we get to that last day and they use, put all these skills together. And you see the relationships develop along the way as well. Great. 
<clears throat> Martha, I also see that Work Ready New Hampshire offers a certificate from ACT. ACT is a college testing company that many students need to take to get into college, although not at the community college level. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that means and perhaps why it's re required for Work Ready? Sure. Uh, when business owners asked for, for employees to have good soft skills, they also wanted them to have really good reading, math, and critical thinking skills. You know, as simple as writing a memo to someone or an email to someone, you've got to know how to do that and the basic math skills as well. So we, when we first started Work Ready in New Hampshire, we're figuring out, all right, what, how do we, we know the soft skills piece, and now what do we, how are we going to figure out the, the reading, math, and critical thinking piece? The ACT was, was brought up in discussions, and they offer a work keys exam, it's called. And through that work keys exam, we can test for the reading, work, actual workplace reading, math, and critical thinking skills. So we brought that as part of the program. Now we have two parts, soft skills class and the ACT work keys exam. Uh, and that's what employers wanted, soft skills and reading math critical thinking. So for people to graduate from Work Ready New Hampshire, they need to pass both pieces of this program. And the certificate is a national career readiness certificate. When they pass the exam, they get that certificate and it's known around the nation. And there are whole communities in the Midwest and the South where this is really popular, uh, where you can't get a job without the National Career Readiness Certificate. Here on the East Coast, not as well known. Uh, however, if you're an employer and you see that somebody has this on their resume, please take a look at them and you will have an idea of where, maybe where their math skills are at. And if you're a machine tool uh, business, you want to know that they have good math skills to do their job. In my job, I just do budgeting, so I don't need a high level of math skills, but I definitely need a high level of reading skills, which I would have. Um, so you can find out more about that on www.act.org if you want to know more. Great. Kai, I see that there is a component of the program called KeyTrain. Can you talk about what KeyTrain is? Yes, actually, KeyTrain has been designed as a learning tool mm -hmm. uh, that's self-directed, that helps students study for the exam that Martha was just mentioning. It really helps target the level that the students start at and coaches them through online, one-on-one -on -one learning through the levels up to a top level if that student is able to achieve that level. It, it's a practice for the exam, so they don't go into that exam on the last day without having uh, a certain comfort level around online testing and um, bringing their skills up to up to speed. Yeah, a lot of folks that we have in our in our classes are maybe mid-aged like me and they have not had math class in a long time. So there's they come in with some anxiety about that and we always assure them you will have time to practice so you you you'll remember some of what you learned 40 years ago or whatever the number is. Mm -hmm. um, and mo the vast majority of our participants do end up graduating because they do pass that exam. And they feel much more confident afterwards that their skills are up. And oftentimes, we've had people come back to us and say, uh, when I was applying for this job, I did not know I was going to have to take a math test. And they had to take a math test, but they felt prepared because they'd come through our program. You talked a little bit about the demographics of mm -hmm. students that, that get drawn into this program. Um, Kai, would, would you, being, being the instructor, can you talk a little bit about what an average class of, of students would look like? Yes, and that's what I said when, when we first started. I said it's, it's, it's hard to describe typical and average because each group, and we've had 60... 64, we're on cohort 60, 64 we're on River Valley. We're on 64th group uh, in just River okay. Valley. And each one of those has been wonderfully unique. Um, the, it ranges. We've got entry level, we've got mid-level professionals, we've got high level managers. One of the great things I think about each team is that just like in a work, job, a work setting, you're going to have to be interacting and working professionally with a variety of skill sets and it really helps people um, of different age, different socioeconomic, different education, really see um, and talk to each other. Mm -hmm. For example, I want to take one of our classes. We had, we were in Claremont, our Claremont location, we work with the county jail. 
So we will have an inmate who is on work release, perhaps in the program. So in one class, we had an inmate from the county jail as well as a gentleman who worked for 10 years on Wall Street. Um, and in Keene, we had a Keene State professor and we had some guys right out of rehab. So, and, and everybody in between. We've had the president of a chemical company with a PhD in our class, but we've also had a kid right out of high school too. Um, and what's so great to yeah. see about these teams is they truly, genuinely care and support and talk to each other. Even though yeah. they may not start out that way, they might start out maybe a little anxious or afraid mm -hmm. by the third or fourth day. They're really digging in and doing the work. And respectful of each other. Yes. And they learn. The older folks learn from the younger folks, and the younger folks learn from the older folks. Yes. Consistently we hear, oh, as someone middle-aged may say, I wish I knew these skills when I was 18. And the 18-year-olds are saying, I'm really glad I know these skills now as I'm entering the workforce. And thinking back to myself as an 18-year-old, I sure wish I had this, these classes. I've got to use them. <laughs> um, that, so graduates, yeah. what, what are they saying about the program other than, you know, <clears throat> valuable yeah. skills? Um, this, cl this is an amazing program. We have 99.8% of our graduates at River Valley Community College and 99% over across the board in New Hampshire saying this is one of the best classes they've ever taken. All of them do a feedback at the end of the class and 99% say it met or exceeded their expectations. The funders love the program, the participants love the program, it's just a, an amazing uh, program. <laughs> Excellent. Kai, do you think that the majority of students in addition to gaining skills, also gain a certain level of confidence after? That's the thing class. we see the most of. People walk in sometimes, like I mentioned, a little nervous, and by the time they're doing that project presentation, they are on their game and professional and proud, yeah. proud of their accomplishments, and it shows. Confidence is the number one thing we hear at the last, the last day we do a wrap up, kind of a reflection time. And consistently, we, that's our number one thing that folks get out of it. And when you feel confident, it shows through in an interview or even on the job. We've had people fully employed in this class too. It's not just for unemployed folks, it's for fully employed as well. So I run one evening class a year in Keene um, and so fully employed people can go there. Actually right now we have a day program going here in Lebanon and we have someone who's fully employed in that class too. She just works in the evenings. Uh, so it's for anybody, but that confidence will shine through in the workplace or in an interview. Great, and I just wanted to reiterate, this mm -hmm. is a tuition-free program. How is it funded? It's funded through the Department of Resources and Economic Development. Um, job, uh, uh, New Hampshire businesses pay unemployment tax, and part of that goes into the job training fund in New Hampshire, and part of that Work Ready New Hampshire receives. So it is tuition free, we don't call it a free program, because somebody pays for it. And the reason that the New Hampshire employers pay for it is because they want to have a strong workforce in New Hampshire. So businesses come here and they stay here. And having an educated workforce makes it a strong workforce. Great. Well, sign me up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what are the, uh, the next dates and times if someone were interested to sign up for Work Ready New Hampshire? How do they do that, and, and when, is it, when is it coming around again? Yeah, um, because we have three locations, I rotate between Lebanon, Keene, and Claremont. Right now, we're currently in Lebanon at River Valley Community College uh, on the mall, across from the green. And in, the next place will be is in Keene in July at River Valley Community College on Washington Street. And then the end of August, we start in Claremont. In, um, at, we'll, we'll be holding that one at our Granite State College. Uh, they're allowing us to use some space downtown too, but usually it's at, held at our main campus. Uh, and it's easy to sign up. Simply email me or give me a call or go to rivervalley.edu. In the lower right-hand corner, you'll see Work Ready New Hampshire logo. Click on that and you'll see all the information that you need. It takes about two minutes to sign up. Real easy, make it quick. And uh, we like to have a good time. Our motto at Work Ready New Hampshire at River Valley Community College is we get things done and we have fun, right Kai? That's right, <laughs> and we do, it's true. There's a lot of laughter that comes from that classroom. Yes, Yeah. life can be funny. It can be very funny. <laughs> yes. Also, um, there's no homework, so if you're thinking of this as a regular college class, it's not. They do have that one test on the end of the last day, but as we said, we prepare everyone the whole entire way. So it's, an, it's not a credit court bearing course at the college. It's a non-credit course, uh, but you'll learn a whole lot of great information and be able to use it effectively in the job site. Great. Job place. Great, so to yes. sum up, 
Work Ready New Hampshire is a professional development program for New Hampshire residents 18 to 80 plus years old, employed fully or unemployed, employed part-time, run the gamut, mm -hmm. uh, either no high school diploma all the way up to PhD level, uh, no work experience to 50 plus years of work experience. Participants receive 60 hours of soft skills training, mm -hmm. including resume and interview help, a team project, assessment in reading, math, and critical thinking skills. There's no homework. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and participants earn two certificates, one from the Community College System of New Hampshire and a National Career Readiness Certificate that is becoming more highly recognized. Mm -hmm. And the best part is that it's tuition free, <laughs> in it's, my opinion. It's <laughs> That's the, the best deal in town. <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> yeah. Great. Um, and we talked about how to sign up, uh, www.rivervalley.edu. Uh, anything else you wanted to add to? Yeah, really, if you want to come and build your skills, build confidence, and build your career, join us at Work Ready New Hampshire. And employers, please take an extra look at those resumes that say Work Ready New Hampshire listed on them uh, if you want to strengthen your workforce. Or perhaps send some of your folks to Work Ready New Hampshire as training. We'd be happy to have them as well. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you very much thank for you. coming. Again, this is Work Ready New Hampshire, the tuition-free professional development training program at River Valley Community College uh, in Claremont, Keene, and now newly Lebanon, New Hampshire.